Hey, hi, how you doing? This is the Gamertron, and welcome back to the Gamertron Show, and welcome to episode part number nine of the Vlogtron Show. Let me start off by saying thank you to all of you who watched the last Vlogtron Show and didn't leave a dislike and left a like on the thing. I talked about politics last Vlogtron Show. I thought for sure that video was going to get mostly dislikes, because, you know, politics, it brings out some of the worst in people. But shockingly, shockingly enough, as of recording this video right now, that video, Vlogtron Show episode part number eight, I Hate Politics, didn't receive a single dislike. As of recording this video right now, is over, has over 70 likes, over 70 likes, and zero dislikes. That's incredible. For a video talking about politics... Especially my political opinion, which I know is very different from most people. Like, that's shocking. I'm, I'm very surprised at the response that video got. So thank you for that. I really appreciate the response that video got. Now let's see if I can replicate that with this one. Probably won't because it's a movie. And as we know with movies and video games, you have to like the same things that the, everyone else likes. It's the law of the jungle, circle of life, and crap like that. Um, so I saw The Breakfast Club for the first time with my dad. My dad had a friend recommend to him that, oh, you need, really need to see this movie. It's a classic. I remember watching the first few minutes of The Breakfast Club in high school, and I was somewhat curious as to the direction the movie was going. So to finally watch the whole thing with my dad, um, this is one of the very few times where on something, whether it be a movie or anything else, this is one of those few times where he and I were in complete agreement that the movie was dog shit. Like, holy crap, holy crap, I can't believe that The Breakfast Club has a cult, a cult following. I can't believe people consider it a classic and for it to be, like, a very good movie. I can't believe there are people who call The Breakfast Club a very good movie. Now, personal taste, personal opinion, like, uh, of course, of course you can say you like The Breakfast Club, you enjoy it as a movie. S same approach I have to everything else. Separate subjectivity from objectivity. I looked at The Breakfast Club from both an objective and subjective point of view while viewing it. Like, I can't help it now. I can't help it now. I've been in this mindset for a while where I review and critique things while I'm playing them, while, I w while I'm watching them, while at the same time trying to get immersed in the experience and absorb the information that is being presented to me. And throughout watching The Breakfast Club, like, there was, there was nothing enjoyable. There was nothing enthralling, nothing engaging, nothing interesting. There was nothing, there was no element to The Breakfast Club that made me say, yeah, I'd like to watch that again. It's just so bad. It's so bad. It's such a bad movie. It's such a fundamentally bad movie. Where do I even begin with this? I can't believe there are people that like this. Like, I'm not judging you as a person. Like, if you like The Breakfast Club, like The Breakfast Club. I'm not, I'm not, I'm not judging you as a person. I'm just talking about my feelings towards the movie. And I f don't like it, the movie. I, I, I don't, uh, but I can't understand why other people like the movie as well. Because The Breakfast Club, it has little to nothing going for it. The characters are extremely poorly developed. They're poorly written. The dialogue is completely unbelievable. The dialogue is so bad. The dialogue is so bad, it's like the writers, like they never went to high school. This movie tries so hard to capture high school in the 80s and, and what teens must be feeling around that time. Yeah, this is realistic, this, this'll connect to the audience, this'll connect to the people. What the fuck? You see, I'll give the writers of The Breakfast Club this, I'll give the writers of this movie this, they were trying to, they were trying so hard to hide the fact that all their characters were stereotypes, so what they did is, they did clever tiny little things, like unorthodox things, they made these stereotypes say and do unorthodox things to make you think, oh, they're breaking the stereotype, people aren't really these kinds of stereotypes, we're, we're making fun of the stereotypes, but you end up just promoting the stereotypes, because your characters are blatant unrealistic, unrelatable stereotypes. Are they completely unrelatable? No, 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 but they go for the most general, the most general, basic people problems. In order to make you attach to these characters that are completely alien. These characters are alien. They're so broken 
as characters. To create the illusion, the illusion that they're three-dimensional, they have multiple characteristics, when really they're just given a bunch of random bullshit to say and do. Everything about the movie and about the characters contradicts itself. Especially when it comes to the ending of this film, the characters just make these huge 180s out of nowhere where there was no stable, natural character progression. Okay, l let me step back a bit, let me step back a bit. I know for the past few minutes I've been very, very, like, technical. So I'll try and, I'll try and break it down more simplistic-like. You see, the movie wants you to be connected to it and you to connect to the movie via the characters. But that doesn't work if the characters are so poorly fucking written, to the point where they're not even characters, they're just conduits for random dialogue. Not once in the movie did I believe that the actors were playing people. I, I still thought they were actors throughout the whole thing. I never once thought, oh, th this is a real human being right here. These actors, they're playing a real human being. No, it, it was just the actors spewing off random dialogue. These characters were not believable, and they were not relatable, not in any way shape or form they try to give off the illusion that they are believable and relatable oh look i'm the jacques who's pressured by my dad to do well in school oh look i'm the nerd who's pressured to do well in school oh look i'm the pretty girl who has rich parents that buy me stuff oh i'm the rebel and i have an abusive father these are just titles and labels with no depth given to them they're not explored Oh, I'm supposed to feel bad for these people that I know nothing about and are barely explained? Oh, my dad pressures me in school. How does he pressure you? Here's an idea, movie. Show us! The problem with this movie is it never, it never leaves its little dome, its little boxed off world. It doesn't show flashbacks, it doesn't show flash forwards, it doesn't show anything outside of this detention room, this detention cell in a high school. I think it's a, no, it's a library, yeah, they're, they're, it, we're stuck in this one room, in this one environment throughout the entirety of the movie. And there's nothing wrong with that. Movies can work well in a single environment. And they can use that single environment with these characters in the single environment in order to develop the characters. But they don't actually develop these characters. They don't actually have them develop as people. We don't see a progression. We see them talk, spew out random bullshit, do random activities, and then by the end of the film somehow make a 180 and now they're, now they're better people. And some of them hooked up and became couples even though they know jack shit about one another and barely talk to one another throughout the entire movie. And the conversations that they did have were meaningless and led nowhere. The reason I'm approaching this movie on a more intellectual level is because the movie tries to make you think and believe. It tries to trick you into thinking, oh, this is a real intellectual deep movie that, uh, that processes and discusses the human psyche and human relationships and how kids are in high school and, and their troubles and their difficulties. Bullshit! I may have not been to high school in the 1980s, but I can tell ya that this was not high school in the 1980s, and these were not kids in the 1980s. These are stereotypes written up by writers, written up by the media in Hollywood. Oh, it, I really despise the Hollywood stereotypes and how Hollywood has mainstreamed these stereotypes. You see, real life and reality is so much more unique and so much more fascinating. Yet Hollywood, it, there needs to be a nerd. There needs to be a Jacques. There needs to be a rich girl. There needs to be a weirdo. There needs to be these labels. There needs to be these categories when that's, that's not how people work. God damn it. Oh, I really don't see why people like this movie. It's not entertaining in the slightest. Nothing fucking happens. Nothing happens. It's just these stereotypes stuck in a high school library for, in, for detention. And it's a two-hour movie where nothing happens. It, at least in other movies that have these characters in this one environment, they develop the characters or they have an interesting situation playing throughout that's tense or exciting or they challenge you intellectually. Nothing happens! Nothing happens in The Breakfast Club! There's no progression of story, progression of characters! Nothing happens! It's a nothing movie! It's a useless movie! I gain nothing from this! Say what you will about the Michael Bay Transformers movies, for instance. They may be dumb, their stories may be awful, their character development may be dog shit, but you know what? At least 
I can be entertained by the visuals of the movie. At least I can be entertained by what I'm seeing. Now, different example, but similar in some way. Look at uh, Kill Bill Volume 2, for instance, where Kill Bill Volume 1 had a ton of awesome, amazing, entertaining action. Volume 2 had not as much action, nearly, not nearly as much action, but more conversation, more character development. But the movie made up for that lack of action and intensity the first one had through the conversation and the character development because it was done well, it was interesting, and while not realistic, I mean, it's Kill Bill, there's nothing realistic about Kill Bill, they still made the conversations interesting and engaging and the characters interesting and engaging because they weren't stereotypes. And The Breakfast Club has nothing of what I've given as examples for, nothing of Kill Bill Volume 2, nothing from the Transformers movies. With the Transformers movies, there's interesting, engaging visuals. With Kill Bill Volume 2, there's interesting, engaging characters and dialogue. The Breakfast Club has none of that. Nothing about it is entertaining or engaging or interesting or intriguing or thought-provoking. Well, okay, the movie is thought-provoking, but it's thought-provoking and how stupid and useless and lifeless it is. And pretentious. You know what? The movie's really pretentious. It tries to come off as something bigger than what it is, when what it is is a absolutely nothing film. The film doesn't mirror reality, it doesn't mirror the lives of everyday people, especially kids in high school. And that's really something that personally pisses me off about media and how it represents high school. After spending, well, a good chunk of my life in high school. So seeing it represented in these unrealistic and bizarre ways just personally really bugs me. But back to the movie. The movie's terrible. The movie's awful. I hate it. I despise The Breakfast Club. I have no understanding whatsoever why people like this movie. I mean, on top of the terrible, non-existent story and characters, there's just some weird, nonsensical bullshit that happens throughout the movie. There's this one moment where the jock character just starts yelling and screaming because he's high, but he somehow screams so loud that a glass door shatters. Doesn't make any sense? isn't explained, it's just, he yelled so loud that the glass exploded. Doesn't make any sense. There's also really weird musical cues and audio effects that only last for a few seconds out of the blue. I guess they're trying to add impact or power to a certain scene, but they only come off as weird? Like, I guess they were trying to build tension to a scene, but chose the wrong sound effect and music possible for that. And then there's a dance sequence. Jesus Christ, there's this... It's so out of nowhere and bizarre. One character just plays some music and then all the other characters just start dancing and having a good time when just in the previous scene, they were fighting and arguing and crying and yelling and discussing, oh, how tough life is and all their problems. How do you go from a big, dramatic, emotional scene like that to now everybody's fucking dancing, having uh, the time of their lives? What the fuck? There's also two completely useless characters with, like, no story or character arc. There's no reason for these characters to be there. They're, they're there to deliver against. Th the whole point of having the characters in these movies, the point of the characters in these movies, are not for you to grow attached to these characters. They're not there to move the plot forward. They're just there to spew out random bouts of dialogue that I guess the writers were patting themselves on the back for. Oh, this is so smart. I'm going to win an Emmy or a Gloating Globe for this for this writing, for this dialogue. Oh, hoo -hoo. oh my god, the dialogue's atrocious. It's atrocious. But yeah, useless characters. There's this teacher character who I guess is supposed to be the antagonist, but halfway through the movie, the movie kind of forgets about him and he doesn't interact with the kids at all, even though there was some tension mounting and like a rivalry between him and one of the students, and then they just completely drop off that subplot, if it even was a subplot, this movie almost ha it, this movie has no fucking plot. And then there's this janitor character, this, complete u this completely useless janitor character. There's no reason for this character to be in the movie. He provides nothing, he's only in the movie for a few minutes. The dialogue that he presents, like, is- doesn't- barely impacts anybody, doesn't impact the characters, doesn't impact the story, he's useless. He's useless. There's this completely useless character. Why is he here? Why is he here? He doesn't move the plot forward, he doesn't help develop the characters, he doesn't develop his own character. Why is the janitor in this movie? There's no reason to have this janitor character in the movie. He's useless. He's pointless. What the fuck? The movie's just a waste of time. It's just a, 
utter pretentious waste of time that tries to present itself as meaningful dialogue about the human condition, high school, relationships, all this other nonsense that it has no clue what it's talking about and doesn't even properly engage, discuss it, start it, or end it. But again, what I think is most important about any movie is that now, not every movie needs to be entertaining, not every movie needs to be funny, not every movie needs to be action-packed and adrenaline-fueled, not every movie needs to keep you on the edge of your seat. Sometimes movies can just hit you emotionally, or, or just make you think, make you ponder, make you intrigued, make you want to rewatch it, listen to the dialogue again, watch certain scenes again, to notice clever things, the clever, maybe, easter eggs that were placed there. But that's not the case with The Breakfast Club, it's... A totally pointless, useless, throwaway movie. There's nothing to gain from it. Absolutely nothing. I, I struggle. I struggle making this video and talking about it because I'm struggling so hard to remember scenes from it. And the scenes that were in there weren't impactful. They weren't memorable. I had to go online to remind myself half the shit that happened in the movie. And I just watched the movie a few hours ago with my dad. Like, oh my god. Oh my god. This is a classic? This is a beloved movie? This this is a following? This is a praised movie. This is a people like gave critical acclaim and shit. It's so bad. It's such an awful movie. It's so bad. It just it's so bad. It's so fucking bad. The only thing I gain from this movie is misery. And not the good kind of misery. Not the kind of misery you get from a sad, emotional flick that's trying to tug on your heartstrings and trying to make you feel something, even if it, even if it is anger or sadness, because it's trying to send a message. The, 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 there is no... The message that Breakfast Club was trying to send was, I guess, supposed to be positive, but it comes off being just dumb and stupid and useless and pointless and... What a miserably useless pile of shit this movie is. God damn. I I've been ranting about this for 15 minutes now. I can't. I can't believe this stupid movie. It has a following. It has a following. People like The Breakfast Club. Why? Okay, if you've watched The Breakfast Club, please explain to me in the comments below why you like this movie and why you think it's a good movie because I don't like it. I don't like it at all. I will give The Breakfast Club this, though. I'll, I'll give the movie this. It gave me a perfect excuse to waste all your time with a throwaway video. That is the Vlogtron show. These are throwaway videos. This is appetizers. This is bullshit. And compared to the nice, well-cooked, um, savorable, actually half-decent meals that are my other videos on this channel, I'll give The Breakfast Club this. Like, it was, I guess engaging enough for me to talk about it for over 15 minutes in a ranty video where I talk about how how much I didn't like the movie I'll get I mean I'll give the movie that I mean I gotta give it something I, I got I have to give it something it has absolutely nothing since the movie has nothing I gotta give it something so yeah have you watched the breakfast club what'd you think about it do you think I'm overreacting let me know in the comment section below so this has been the Vlogtron Show number episode part 9, the one where I rant about how much I don't like The Breakfast Club. What a terrible movie. That's going to help produce a terrible video. Well, I'm sure you all know the gist. Uh, if you like the video in any way, shape, or form, there's the like button. Re please remember to always leave a comment if you want to share the video, Twitter, Facebook. If you want to help out and support me directly, financially, there's always Patreon. And yeah, this video comes to a close, and I'll see you all later. God damn. The Breakfast Club. The Breakfast Club. Such a terrible movie.